pale faced, but clearly happy to be free from isolation. The crew of the Mars 500 mission. For the last year and a half, this has been their home. Cramped, windowless cells deep in a Russian test facility. The closest thing on Earth to the rigors of deep space travel. The six volunteers have enjoyed recycled air, dehydrated food and each other's company. An earlier experiment with a different team ended when two participants got into a fistfight and a third tried to kiss a female crew member. But this international team is still on good terms. Put me more in contact with my own humanity. Uh, you, you learn suddenly that you are not Superman, that there are limitations and that uh, you have to overcome them uh, by yourself and also with the help of your crewmates. Russia's conquest of space has been long and illustrious. They launched the first satellite, put the first man in orbit, Yuri Gagarin, 50 years ago, and even had their own short-lived shuttle program, Buran. This is what's left of it. After years of underfunding and more recently a string of failed launches, Russia has its eyes set on a new goal, to put a man on Mars. On Wednesday, Russia will launch a probe to Phobos, one of Mars's moons, to collect samples. It's the first planetary mission since the collapse of the Soviet Union. It will be at least another 20 years before a real manned mission to Mars. But here on Earth, the groundwork is being done. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Moscow.